Inipensahan ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ang operasyon ng pulisya laban sa ilegal na droga. Inyag ito ng Pangulo kasunod ng nangyaring raid sa bahay ni Ozami City Mayor Reynaldo Parohinog na kabilang sa listahan ng mga umanoy narco-politicians. At gate rin po ng ating Pangulong Duterte, ginagawa lamang ng otoridad ang kanilang tungkulin at hindi titigil ang kanilang kampanya hanggat hindi natatapos ang operasyon ng ilegal na droga sa Pilipinas. Ang sentro ng balitang yan, hatid sa atin ni Rocky Ignacio. This is the matrix of the diagram of the extent of the operation in the Philippines. Because uh, I was uh, asking for more dossier and uh, I have to read the documents or the reports or the intelligence uh, gathering of the different branches of government. Isang linggo matapos maupo sa pwesto, isinapubliko ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ang tinaguriang drug matrix o kung paano ang operasyon ng ilegal na droga sa bansa. The dimensions of uh, our problems regarding drug. So ang nandito is si Wu Tuan alias Peter Ko. He is uh, a triad member and operating the Luzon and the NCR. He's inside the prison, but he's the one directing the traffic of the drug operations in Luzon. He's currently in jail. Leader of Belibid 19, I don't know what this means. And the other one is uh, Peter Lim, alias Jaguar. Triad of the Visayas. Ang pagsumpo sa ilegal na droga ang ipinangako ng Pangulo sa mga Pilipino. This is a mix of uh, Chinese uh, mayors. Maraming mayors dito. Kabilang sa mga unang nasangkot sa ilegal na droga si Albuera Mayor Rolando Espinosa at anak nito. Nabanggit rin nito ang Usami City at ang partisipasyon ng ilang opisyal ng Philippine National Police. You would notice that uh, Garbo is uh, indicated in the line of hierarchy. And the other one is uh, Herbert Colanco. He is also inside the prison. I was informed that he is the son-in-law of the mayor of Osamis, Aldong Parahinog, and is the husband of uh, the vice mayor, who is the daughter of Parahinog. Uh, he's also one of the identified members of Coratong Balili. At sa pagkasawi ng alkalde at ipapangkasama sa operasyon, iginiit ng Pangulo na ginawa ng otoridad ang kanilang trabaho. The police and the military should make sure that their enemies are dead. Otherwise, if the other guy can still pull the trigger, you will end up with a dead police or a dead military soldier. Bakit po gusto yan? Eh ako yung, ako yung commander-in-chief of all the armed forces. Remember that. Commander-in-chief of all the armed forces in the Philippines. Nauna nang nanindigan si Pangulong Duterte na hindi siya hihinto hanggat hindi na uubos ang pinakahuling drug lord sa bansa. So my appeal to them is... Uh, since they are beyond redemption, they can stop and commit suicide. Because I will not allow these idiots to run the show. Not during my watch. Rakig Naso para sa bayan.